Hi YouTube! A couple days ago I got a comment saying, Hey Rachel, fun little game you've got there. Could you comment or make a video on coding styles and conventions, like camel case for functions and stuff, and how I chose mine? Um, this person is at the point in their life where uh, co all code just looks ugly, and they're constantly switching between conventions, so they just wanted some input. Well, um, this is, I guess, my video about coding conventions. Yay. So, um, based on the language you use, the coding convention kind of has its own style for a specific language. Like, for example, with Java, uh, function names tend to be, they start with lowercase and then they're camel case, or with JavaScript, the curly brace will usually start on the same line as the function header. Um, so part of it is kind of based on what language you're using. And then another part's going to be, if you're working at a company or working with a group, there's probably going to be an agreed upon code style. Um, because for the most part, they want to have, you know, they don't um, want all the developers coding in a different style. For example, uh, it might be a good rule to have don't abbreviate stuff in your function name, so that way you don't have to guess between, you know, is this um, init, or initialize, or, you know, cmd, or command, or whatever else. So, um, different companies will have their own coding conventions. Uh, my experience is that their coding conventions are pretty close to what the, what you see kind of as the standard language convention itself. So, um, the kind of style I use is just kind of like the C++ style that I've seen from others, but a little bit different. Um, basically, one time when I was a lot younger, pre-college and all of that, um, or at least pre-university, I remember showing somebody some code of mine, and I don't remember who it was or what it was, um, but they said the code itself was fine, but it was ugly, it was not very consistent in how it was styled, so from that hurtful comment to 15-year-old Rachel or whatever, uh, I ended up kind of coming up with my own coding style that I prefer, and I just always use that through habit, just doing it a lot. So I will show a summary of what that is now. So if you just do a Google search for some language encoding convention, you'll be able to find Oracle's suggestion for uh, Java coding conventions, C Sharp's um, conventions, from Microsoft. Uh, suggestions for JavaScript, though, this isn't like an official JavaScript site, um, but they all have like, you know, how are you doing your white space and stuff, and then like there's a G, a GNU convention for C++, but um, like for your own projects, it's really just up to you. Um, one of the things I kind of don't like about, say, using Visual Studio is it kind of formats my code in a very specific way that I don't like. Um, because, you know, I have my own way, and if I'm not working on a team, then I just like to have my own way. Um, but first, generally, when I am writing C++ code, my source files will be .cpp, and my uh, header files will be .hpp, and that's just kind of for a symmetry. Um, of course, you might also see .c and .h, but I just kind of prefer .hpp since I'm actually writing C++ code. Uh, variable names, I just go with camel case with lowercase as the first one. Um, I don't use, uh, like, if I create an integer, I'm not going to say, you know, my int number thing. Uh, I'm not going to put the data type as part of the name of the variable, just because you can find this out pretty easily with a uh, compiled language like this whenever you just go to its declaration. So I try to have more descriptive names like int amount of enemies or whatever. Um, so for the most part, lowercase first letter for variable names for functions. Uh, you have your return type. I'll just have, uh, I like to have capital first letter, so um, init. Usually I'll say init because I'm not always sure I can spell initialize. Like sometimes I'll just get mixed up, but init. Um, you know, game, state, or whatever, and then when I like, when I uh, have parentheses or brackets or anything else like that, I like to actually um, put a space, so something like this. I 
pretty much always will keep a space between my parentheses and any internal contents, the parameters here or arguments when I'm calling the thing. You know, blah, 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 blah. Or, um, like if I'm creating an array, for the most part, it, it might just be like, if it's just a simple number, I'll kind of keep it like that. I kind of go back and forth in this regard. Sometimes I'll prefer it like that. If I'm going to make um, a new thing, like students equals new int, and I'm going to have some other variable like student count, like if this is a variable rather than just a number, I will still add the spaces. And the main reason I do this spacing thing is just because double click, it's really easy to select this item. I mean, I can double click here as well, but it just kind of gives me more room and like separates things out. Um, then down here for classes, I also like my classes to start with a capital letter, so just something like that. Um, or I can say inherit from some sort of entity, so I just kind of keep things spaced. I'm not afraid of white space. And then for my curly braces for functions as well, I put those on different lines, and I put the contents on the inside. And I'm generally pretty um, liberal when it comes to white space. I try to group things up as they're kind of related. Like maybe here's my initial variables, and then here's my while something, and then stuff in there. So uh, usually I'll put public on top and private on bottom, just because it's kind of like a quick reference. You can see immediately what the interface is for the class, and then you see the private stuff down below. Again, that's just kind of whatever your preference is. And then, like up here, when I create pointers, um, usually I will prefix it with PTR, just just to keep to kind of try to keep it safe, remind myself to be safe. Um, so I would I generally will keep the asterisk with the data type, just because in my mind it's a pointer to this data type. Some people will have int and then the pointer on the other side, or the asterisk or whatever, and some people will do it like that. Um, I just kind of prefer keeping it all together, because in my mind the pointer type is part of the type-ish, kind of, sort of. And um, like if I'm dereferencing something I'll just keep the asterisk with the name here. That way it also keeps them a little bit separate in my mind. I don't really have a problem differentiating them anymore, but when I was first starting out uh, programming and learning about pointers, I, you know, the asterisk kind of confuses people because it's reused in different ways. So I like to keep, when I'm declaring a pointer, I'm going to keep the asterisk with the data type. When I'm dereferencing a variable, I'm going to keep it with the variable name. Um, I can't really think of any other types of things, except if I am writing a program that utilizes libraries from multiple namespaces, so sometimes I'll use something from like um, fstream, but also my own library, blah blah blah, I'll usually not use the using namespace blah blah blah, because um, if I'm using multiple libraries, I just kind of like to have it be explicit where I'm getting stuff from. So I might have cuckoo string util uh, int to string or something like that. And then I'd use std f stream output and whatever else. So I can't think of any other specifics that might be unique or anything. This is just kind of how I prefer to code. And uh, if you want to see more examples of and really, honestly, I suggest that you check out other people's code as well, just to kind of see how they code, and if you like how they code, and all of that. But if you'd like to see um, some examples of my code, my more recent stuff, I've been working on the Kuko framework. That's in here. You can see, like, I have the wrapper for SDL to initialize stuff. Here's, um, <clears throat> excuse me, some static uh, variables. And just here's the functions being declared. I declare all the functions inside the source file, the CPV file, not in the header file. Um, and that's also just a preference. And it's, I think, kind of for C++ anyway, a, a good practice. 
in C Sharp, you're going to have all your class code in one file, but in C++, there's um, other reasons you would do it this way. So yeah, I will put links to these things that I found in the description and also to my GitHub if you just want to check anything out. Of course, with different languages, like if I'm writing in Python, it'll be a little bit different, but otherwise, um, I just kind of, I still do the spacing between parentheses and square brackets, but uh, every language kind of has its own style.